everyone, how's it going? It's Andrew Goad for the 30 day video series called Stepping Into Your Personal Greatness. Today is day one. I'm excited, I'm out in Toronto, uh, Canada, outside, uh, just off of Queen Street. See some people walking in the background. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So, what I want to talk today about briefly was just what does that term mean? Um, to start off this series, what does it mean? Personal greatness. What does it mean to you? Uh, does it sound like a weird concept? I know for a lot of people, they're like, maybe you even get upset when someone's like, what? What does greatness mean to you? So, regardless of what your experience is, if you're drawn to this at some level, I imagine like you're wanting more greatness in your life. You're wanting more you know, amazing capabilities and amazing experiences and events to show up for yourself and, and, and in your life and for your life. So for me, what the premise of personal greatness is, is really knowing who you are and knowing yourself and knowing what you want. Uh, I view greatness as being very synonymous with having a strong sense of yourself and knowing what you want. So for myself, when I know that I've kind of stepped into my own personal greatness, it usually means that I'm going after what I want, I'm excited about my life, I'm feeling passionate about things, and I'm just just going for it, like unabashedly. I'm taking action, I'm moving towards it, moving towards my goals and my aspirations and my ideals. And I'm becoming the person that I've always wanted to be. I'm the person that's inspiring me. So that's kind of what my what the concept of personal greatness is for me. You know, someone who knows what they want, they're going after it, they're aware of who they are, and they are someone that inspires themselves. And that for me is something that's really exciting. I used to be uh, in a diff very different position where I would never really even know what I wanted in the first place. That's a powerful practice. If you don't know what you want on a regular basis and you can't define it with clarity, I recommend starting to make that a practice for yourself. Start to ask yourself, what do you actually want? Because the irony is, if you don't know what you want, you're not going to get what you want. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you. And it's one of the best ways that you can start to live more into who you want to become is just identify what do you want. And things will kind of take shape and, and, and you'll start to move forward and have positive momentum if you're taking action around the things that you want. So uh, there's a lot of pieces to it, but, but again, if I were to define it, it's knowing who you are, knowing what you want, and being a person that inspires you. You're the person that is inspiring yourself in your life. And maybe that's not for everyone, but um, there's so much available from that, from that place. So I want to leave it there, <laughs> really short and sweet. Um, you know, if you're inspired by this, what, what does it mean for you? What does personal greatness mean to you? Um, does that topic even excite you? And, you know, if, if, if your version and definition is different, awesome. Because that's just my definition and everyone can have a different definition. But, uh, you know, the crux of it is becoming more of who you want to be and becoming more of the great person that you hopefully know you can become inside. And it's just a matter of taking action around what you want to make that a reality. So, this has been Andrew Goad signing off on the 30-day video series around stepping into your personal greatness. And I will see you tomorrow for day two uh, with a video regarding uh, possibility and creativity. So, until then. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye.